Eyewitness Sports right now. Good evening, I'm Brennan Miller with Eyewitness Sports. Today is Major League Baseball opening day, and for many of us, that meant keeping track of scores from across the league while we were at work. But for one Mohawk Valley native, the action today was up close and personal. In fact, it started over two weeks ago with the World Baseball Classic. I am uh, Tom Campion, and I am a member of the grounds crew for the Miami Marlins. My primary responsibility is I take care of the take care of and maintain the home bullpen. Mm -hmm. Once I am finished with that, we go out on the field and prep the field for games and maintain the, the rest of the field and, and maintain it to a major league level. I, you know, I tried my best taking care of, you know, vet, Veterans Memorial Park, City of Little Falls. You know, I worked there probably about 20 years plus as a groundskeeper. I realized that I'd like to take my groundskeeping skills to the next level. I made contacts with, uh, actually I started out making a contact with Nicole Sherry from Baltimore, one of the only female groundskeepers in the major league. And she had gave me some advice and I followed through on her advice, making contacts. And before you know it, uh, opportunity happened down here in Miami. And here I am living the dream in major league baseball, being a major league baseball groundskeeper. It's very exciting. It's, it's awesome experience. The Marlins season began today with a game against the New York Mets, but Tom's year actually began well before that with the World Baseball Classic, the international tournament in which Miami was one of four host cities for the group stage and the home of the WBC final between the U.S. and Japan. The, the, the WBC game it, it was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's, it was, we were sold out capacity crowds. Oh, it was, it was, it was amazing. I mean, it, especially in the WBC setting. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we see some of these guys, they, they pass through during the regular season and it's, it's regular season baseball, but this, the, the enthusiasm that these guys had playing for their country. Uh, I mean, when you got these, these superstars saying that it was more memorable in the WBC than it was to any world series or all-star game, that that was that's pretty cool you know in the end we've learned that the japan u.s game was the most watched baseball game ever like of all time more eyes yeah. than any baseball game has ever had so what's it like for you being someone who you know now your handiwork is being seen by more people than any yeah, other that, baseball game that was amazing, and it, it's it's an experience I'll never forget. And it's still mind-boggling that you know, like ninety-six percent of TVs in Japan were watching us, you know, and our field and and the work we did. It's still still trying to wrap your head around it. You really, really are. The World Baseball Classic will return in 2026, but there's no word on if Miami will once again be the host city. As far as today's MLB results, I'm sure Tom tried but couldn't help the Marlins get a win in their first game. They fell by, to the Mets by a final score of 5-3. to three. For now, that's all for sports. Check out seeingmyhomepage.com for your top sports stories. Some more eyewitness news coming up right after the break.